Okay. Uh, posted a video with the Duramax phones. Um, I've had those for about yeah, a week now. I'm actually liking them. Um, they work very well. Um, I actually was kind of out in a mall this weekend, and they actually worked in the mall very well. Uh, we were able to communicate back and forth, even when in areas where you thought you'd have bad coverage. Um, the Direct Connect still worked. Um, so I got the Admiral. The Admiral's the latest Sprint Direct Connect phone. Um, you know, I'd read it was kind of oddly shaped, but it actually, you know, it has a good feel in the hand. Um, not really a official reviewer here, so I'm not going to go too much, but I'm just commenting on my opinion. But it feels good, you know. doesn't feel awkward or anything like that. I actually can use the keyboard fairly well. Um, it's got the uh, on-off button, speaker button, headphone jack, your direct connect button, which I wish it was a little bigger. feels a little small. I like the bigger button there, but I guess if you know what's there, you know what to push. So Just push that button, slide unlock. It actually is running gingerbread, the, um, you know, 2.3. Point five, I think, or six, one or the other. But um, I'm not an Android aficionado, so uh, screen quality is good. Uh, it it actually works really well. I mean, it doesn't have the lag and some of the issues that I've had with other Android phones uh, that I've you know played with. Uh, but it works good. It doesn't have any um, really end or answer call hard buttons. The only buttons you have that are actually physical buttons are just keyboard buttons. Um, so everything else is pretty much done through the touch screen. Um, but uh, I know the main thing that I like to show anybody is the direct connect. So I'm going to take it off screen for a second because I've got some contacts. And I'm going to try and get a hold of one. And there you go. The chirp, chirp. So uh, it works. It works pretty well. It's loud. You can hear. Uh, people can hear me. Um, so you know, a five megapixel camera, um, HD video recording. Um, uh, one of the later versions of Android uh, it works very fluidly. Um, you know. You can use a Google Voice on it. Um, so, if anybody's out there looking for a, uh, you know, an Android phone for push to talk to work with, uh, you know, existing IDEN or Nextel customers, this is it. This is a very nice phone. Uh, it's fast. Uh, internet speeds, you know, obviously are three G, but uh, I mean the browser is actually very fluid. Um, you can do the double tap to zoom in and out. You can uh, do the pinch to zoom type stuff. But, it, you know, overall it's a very nice phone. So, uh, just wanted to put that out there. I know there's a lot of people that are on the IDEN network and are kind of wondering what's going on and what's going to happen and what's their options. And I was one of those customers, so I'm kind of just trying to put it out there for people to kind of know what their... Uh, options are and I think this is a pretty viable option I know you'll have some people out there and go oh man it's not IDEN and that's true but uh, <laughs> you gotta make a choice at some time because it's going away so uh, I'll never give up on push to talk so uh, I've gotta just deal with what I've got and this is what we've got and it's an actually really nice option alright guys